Does my hair look good? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. What's up, guys? It's the Kidney Chameleon. Back for another video. So, first of all, I'm not a doctor. I am just here to share my experience and knowledge from my life as well as what I've reached or re <laughs> experience and knowledge from my life as well as what I've researched on. So with that being said, here's a video on the different types of dialysis. So there are actually two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. So, there are actually two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and perito peritoneal dialysis. So in order to choose the right kind of dialysis for you, just think about your lifestyle and the different factors that could affect your decisions such as school or work schedules and traveling. So the first kind of dialysis is hemodialysis, which is the dialysis that I go through. So with hemodialysis, you're connected to a machine that pumps small amounts of blood through tubes into an artificial kidney or dialyzer, which is also the artificial kidney, and then back into your body. So this can actually take place at home or you can go to a dialysis center for this. So hemodialysis typically takes three to four hours to clean your all your blood in your system or if you go to a nocturnal dialysis center it could take seven to eight hours which takes place while you're sleeping. Hemodialysis takes place three times a week and the access is the access for hemodialysis is either placed in your chest in the form of a catheter or in your arm in the form of an arterial venous fistula or a super vein as I like to call it or a tube which is also a graft. And with hemodialysis, you, we do have a fluid restriction. So we can only have 32 ounces of fluid a day, and that includes water, soups, ice cream, anything that ice, just eating ice cubes, can only have a total of 32 ounces a day. With peritoneal dialysis, the access is actually in your stomach. So with peritoneal dialysis, the inside, uh, the inside lining of your belly, which is the peritoneal cavity, is used as the natural filter. So it's used as a dialyzer for your body. So the waste in your body is taken out by the cleansing fluid, which is a dialysate, and that's actually washed in and out of your belly as treatment goes on. So the dialysate solution goes in through the catheter, and then your your lining of your abdomen is used as the filter and then it is taken out and it put into a separate waste bag. So peritoneal dialysis takes place at home and you can have proper training so you can do this on your own but it al it's also you know optional to have a nurse there to help you around. It takes about four to six hours for the whole treatment to take place and as mentioned before the access is placed in your stomach in your abdomen and because uh, peritoneal dialysis takes place every day there's no fluid restriction so you can actually drink however much you want because either way you're gonna have it taken out so when I first started dialysis I was offered both options to either do hemo or peritoneal dialysis but me personally I like traveling. I don't like, you know, taking so much stuff with me. And with peritoneal dialysis, I would have to take my machines and the tubes and all that, take them everywhere I went. So if I wanted to travel, I'd have to take luggage with me. And I'm not a person that likes a lot of luggage. So I chose hemodialysis because with hemodialysis, there's dialysis centers nationwide so wherever I choose to go I can let my dialysis center know ahead of time and they can find me a chair out there so I can have my treatments. That and also the fact <laughs> that I like sleeping on my stomach personally you know just laying there on the pillow like this and if I had 
a catheter placed in my stomach, I would not sleep comfortably. So I already had to get used to sleeping on my sides because of my catheter and my access. I had to start sleeping on my back and on my side so I wouldn't, you know, hurt myself. So basically peritoneal dialysis didn't really fit my lifestyle. <clears throat> so that's why I went with hemo. So since the peritoneal dialysis access is in the stomach, for hemo dialysis the access is either placed on your chest, which I had removed uh, two months ago, or it's placed on your arm, which I recently started using and had surgery to place my access but I will be talking about my accesses and saving that for the next video thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like my video subscribe comment I'd like to hear some feedback <laughs> don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos um, also be looking forward to Q&A's, doing videos, asking, you know, you guys asking me questions and me answering them and hearing some feedback on how I'm doing so far. So this is the Kidney Chameleon. Love yourself, love your body, and love your journey with life. I don't know if that stopped it. Did it stop it? That was not the right button. <laughs>